Hey guys, this is episode one of Deaths and Desires. Um, I'm pretty much going to just be talking about what my business is about and this podcast and um, yeah, my goals, what I hope to reach and whatnot. Okay, so let's start off with Deaths and Desires. Okay, so Deaths and Desires, this is a network that I've made. It's a, um, a platform for individuals with similar mindsets that strive to get ahead further in life, but they don't have the right tools and resources to assist and lead them. So Deaths and Desires, um, pretty much I'm a business where, um, a business platform for passionate individuals that need assistance, um, you know, just living on everyday life or just trying to reach a certain place in life and you don't know how to get there. So if you, if let's say, if you're a makeup artist, or you're a fitness, you know, personal trainer, or you're not that yet, and you want to know how to get there, you can watch YouTube like 50,000 times and, you know, learn how to do it yourself, but you want to, know, you know, know the actual steps. So basically, I'll be inviting people along with myself. I'll be alone at times, like right now, and I'll um, interview people based on different passions and careers. And, you know, I'll ask some questions, and you guys can help me. Um, and you guys can look at my Instagram to give me... Um, suggestions questions that I could ask the interviewees is destin at destin desires underscore so again that's at destin desires underscore um so you can go there and just pretty much like who would you like me to interview um I have set up uh what do you call it she is a hairstylist and she's a cone owner um I have her coming up as a guest I have a credit coach coming up as a guest as well. So, you know, if you guys would like to see, you know, who do you guys want me to want me to invite to Destin Desires podcast, you know? Okay, so basically, yeah, so this will be a resource. Um, it'll be a resource for people to get that extra push and motivation. So not only do I want, you know, people to tune in to just listen to say, oh, yeah, that's how we could get to that point in life. No, I want you to actually be motivated and inspired you know, that's a big thing, um, getting, getting ahead in life, you need some, you know, you need real inspiration and motivation, and, you know, a group of people that support you, and that's not always around, you know, so this will be the place for you to have that inspiration and motivation, um, and yeah, sorry, I'm kind of, like, nervous, guys, <laughs> I'm so nervous, okay, so, Da, 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 we went over that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Deaths and Desires will be the ultimate guide on how to assist somebody to um, execute their goal, depending on what it is they like to conquer, you know? So as I just restated, um, you know, I feel like I'm being, like, so <laughs> repetitive. Um, okay, so let me tell you guys how the breakdown of this show would go. Let's just give me a second. Okay, so like I said, so many times I'll probably do like solo podcasts myself and I'll just um, explain what I went through um, and how I could help you guys, the viewers, on anything that it is. If it's like with going to school, like, you know, time management, or working full time and going to school full time, I've been through that. So I could definitely assist students in school that goes through that. Um, learning how to, you know, open up and conduct your own business. I could assist with that because I'm going through that process right now. Um, you know, looking for apartments in New York City, I can definitely, you know, help with that and give you guys the resources and the websites to assist with that. So stuff like that I'll do um, myself and I'll, I'll podcast myself. But when I do have an interviewee, it'll be broken down like this. So the first five to ten minutes, I'll have my guests and they'll – basically tell us a little bit about their, in, you know, their background information, you know, what it is that they do, what they're interested, where they're from, their age, how it was growing up as a child, you know, because I feel like a lot of people's success stories are based from, they're based from what, you know, the person have experienced and that they want to, you know, change it or better it. So definitely get in a background. So that would be the first few minutes of the show. Um, now the fun part. So the middle, the mid part of my podcast, it'll be, I'll have like a bowl. I didn't get it yet. Of course, I'm unprepared. But um, I'm going to have a bowl, something like similar to Jada Pinkett Smith, Red Table Talk, where they have, you know, with Jada and, and her mom and Willow, they pick like 
my bad, Gammy, they pick out the questions and they just, you know, random questions that people ask them. I'm going to do something similar to that. So thank you, Jada Pinkett Smith, for that idea. So yeah, I'm going to have a bowl here and I'm just going to cut up, even though it's like wasting paper, sorry, I'm going to cut up different papers and different questions and the interview, we just have to pick up, you know, any question, like pick it up and read the question and they'll have to answer it to us. So um, either that or if I don't have the the supplies on time, I'll um I'll just ask like a regular Q and A conversation, you know. And some of the questions that will be asked is gonna be like, oh, you know, what was your biggest fear? Um, did people or a person believe in you? How did you feel when they did or didn't? Um, how did you start your journey and decide to follow that path? Some of the questions as such. Okay, and the last segment of the podcast it'll be from five to 15 minutes and it'll be teach me or us something in your field so let's let's get with that so basically if I were to have let me guess a personal trainer if I'm interviewing a personal trainer and you know just conversing asking trying to see you know their passion and what it is that they can help what school they went to or what you know where they got their certificates from towards the end of the show I'd you know, we have this space here, I'd be like, hey, can you teach me like a workout or, you know, a nice quick hit workout or something? So, and if it's a hairstylist, hey, can you teach us how to, you know, do a braid or whatnot? So I'll bring in equipment so um, people could teach us something in their field or passion. Yeah. So that is the breakdown of the, um, of the show. So, okay, so now I explained who and what Destin Desires is. I explained how we'll be, you know, conducting the interviews. So now it's like, where? Well, where is here, of course. But um, my goal is to actually, like, I want to start off a podcast. Like I said, I want to do in-person questions and answers. Now my goal is to have informative sessions with successful entrepreneurs, fitness trainers, dancers, models, rappers, engineers, designers, DJs, makeup artists, um, like I said, credit coaches, people that are into stocks, savings, real estate, all types of, you know, all types of genres. I want to um, have a, a session. So, you know, let's see. I believe that this podcast will go well just based off the um, the dynamics of what I'm, uh, you know, what I'm basing it around. I would like to be like Oprah or something and, you know, just just have my own talk show. Just, you know. So sorry about, you know, me. I'm just kind of nervous right now. This is definitely my first, like, time. Like, I'm hearing myself. I know I probably sound like, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, this is, this is, this is it. This is it. And I, I, I kind of wanted this, this first podcast to be, like I said, I want you guys to get a little introduction about my business and my podcast, my baby. This is my first baby. And I kind of want you guys to get a little bit of information about me. You know, so you know where I'm coming from and why I'm doing this. So, um, pretty much, I was raised with uh, my mom. She's a single parent, and it was very, very hard for her to, um, you know, let me say not very hard. It was, it was, it wasn't hard for her to take care of me. It was hard for the things that I wanted, like I couldn't get. So, you know, yeah, I had clothes on my on my back. I had food on the table. You know, but when I wanted, like, you know, a little extra, like, or money to do this, I couldn't have it because, you know, she was so, she had to budget. Like, she's a single parent. It was hard for her. New York City is, like, so hard to, you know, survive. So, um, when I was growing up, we we had a studio apartment. I never had my own room in my whole life. So, that is one thing that motivated me, okay? Like, I never had my own room. And every time um, I would go to my friend's house, I'd ask them, you know, I go to their house, I see their rooms, I see their house is like huge, and I'm like, damn, like, why I don't have that? So then I ask them, I'm like, hey, what is your parent? You know, what do your parents do for a living? And they'll tell me, oh, my parents this, or my parents doctor, a lawyer, whatever it is that their parents do. I was always interested in, you know, seeing how they got so successful. Like, I want that, or like, why, why my parent or my mom doesn't have that? You know, so that led me to be curious and see how other people reach you know reach their success and reach a certain point in their life and they're able to live the lavish lifestyle 
So, um, yeah, everybody's house, like I said, that I went to, they had their own room or they shared the room. The house was huge. And I'll be like, yeah, what do, what do, you, what do your parents do? Because I need to go to school for that. I want to be like that, you know? So that kind of um, led me to this because I'm like, I know if I was like that and I'm in a place in life where I'm not happy or no, let me not say not even I'm not happy. I'm not where I want to be. And it's like, okay, I don't know who, like, who can mentor me or who can, where can I go to? Like, yes, like I said earlier, I know Google is a great search engine. I know YouTube is a great um, video source to learn how to do things. But I feel like people, when they're, when they're at a point in life, like, they just won't tell you the, every single detail that, you know, that you want to hear. And it's like, okay, so, for example, what's his name? Let me go. I think it's Robert Kazuski, the dude that made um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And this is another reason why, like, I'm doing this podcast. Everything has to do with it. So I was reading the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and I'm like, okay, okay, Robert, I could make passive income, and, you know, I could, the money I get, what is it? Um, I could make my money, you know, like, an asset instead of, having, you know, having bills and stuff to be li- liabilities. Let me get, you know, whatever. Let me put my money towards assets or whatever so he robert he talks a lot about um flipping houses and it's like okay robert we know <laughs> you know how to flip houses i'm reading you know what to do yeah put my money here now robert how much money do i need you know it's like certain things i would like to ask robert himself like okay robert i understand you got you know money from because he had two dads or whatnot one was like the working dad the other was like I said the passive dad so it's like okay Robert now how can you explain this to me without having that source of income you know like what are the other steps I could be a homeowner like what are the programs and like I said yes you could google it but it's like if you're buying a book or if you're purchasing something you want to see like you know step by step what it is so I can get to that goal so yeah that's that's pretty much a basis of um of why I'm doing this podcast is just to give people a, it's a resource, it's a resource, you know? And also, um, it's funny because today at work, my coworkers and I, you know, I work in a high school and they were talking about when, you know, our time on this earth, like what do you, what do you, what is your purpose? They were asking the students, it's a male class actually. So they're asking the young, the young males, like, do you know your purpose? And, you know what? Some people were saying, oh, my purpose is to, um, I want to be, you know, I'm, my purpose is for my family or whatnot. And then some people were saying like, hey, um, I want to, I want to, when I die, like I want my, my, what do you call it? My work and, and everything that I've, I've done to be passed down to generation to generation or whatnot. So one of the teachers, he, he was like, you know, there's a word for that, right? And then everybody was like, you know, actually one student, he was like, yeah, a legacy. And that kind of, this is what I want Destin Desires to be about. Like, I want to be, I want this podcast to be like a legacy. So when I'm not on this earth and I'm <laughs> croak, <laughs> sorry, and I'm croak, I want to, um, I want to, I want to have something where, you know, people could use as a resource, like, you know, just because I'm gone doesn't mean I can't help, I can't motivate, I can't inspire. Like, there's always something that, you know, there's, some, there's something that's going to be there. Yeah. So that was pretty dope of when, you know, when they were saying that, the whole legacy stuff. Because I'm like, they don't even know I'm about to start a podcast right now. And, yeah. Um, another good point that they were talking about was, he was talking about networking. And I know, like, you know, we could learn from kids, and kids could definitely learn from us, but we could learn from like, the younger, you know, the younger generation. So, um, damn, I totally forgot what I was going to say. That may happen to me a couple of times. <laughs> this is why I have my laptop here, like, trying to, you know, stay on task. Um, let me think, think, think. What was I going to say? Um, <laughs> I forgot. But, yeah. Um. Oh yes, networking. 
Haha, <laughs> I came back to it. <laughs> so about networking, um, one of the teachers in the classroom, he was telling the, you know, the male students, like, you don't know who your classmate could be. You don't know who, wherever you are, you don't know who knows who. And he said, when you're passionate about something, you have to keep bringing it up because, you know, of course, for one, that's what you're passionate about. And two, you don't know who's around that can help you. So one of the students, he told the teacher, he was like, hey, yeah, I want to be um, a DJ. I brought my own equipment. You know, I did this. You know, I've been on YouTube. So he, you know, he was just explaining to the teacher what it is, what his passion is. Like like I asked you, um, what, not like I asked you, what I was saying when the teacher asked, like, you know, what's your purpose in life? One of the students was like, you know, I want to teach you. I want to do this. I love music. And, you know, he started telling us and sharing us his story where the other students weren't. Because, you know, it's the first few days of school. People are nervous. So the teacher said, oh, really? Well, do you know that I DJ and I travel the world and I could bring you with me? And it's like just a few simple exchange of words could get you in a whole nother, you know, place in life. Like that could change your whole freaking, you know, your whole life, like I said. So. Networking is definitely um, a big thing, and and like I said, hearing these things before coming to you know to record this podcast today, I'm like, yeah, I have to put that into the podcast because this is real shit. Like you know, this is definitely real shit. 